Hi there, we're at Community Behavior Health here in Centerville, Maryland. It's a mental health organization. Let's go in and find out what they have to offer. We're going to speak with Dr. Johnny. How are you? Good. Thank you for having me today. <laughs> well, I appreciate thank it. Thank you for allowing us to come. Tell us all about the organization. Okay, so Community Behavioral Health um, is licensed by the state of Maryland mm -hmm. to have an outpatient mental health clinic. We are also nationally certified by the Joint Commission Accreditation of Hospitals. So it's a privilege to be here located in Centerville, but we also have a clinic in Cambridge and in uh, Salisbury. Okay. So we can serve the Eastern Shore of Maryland. So this is very privileged. Our mission and vision is to provide the highest quality evidence-based mental health services to our community here. And uh, as you can see, our uh, Sun logo has the five rays, which are our value system. And basically the Sun represents the future and the hope of those suffering from mental illness. Mm -hmm. And we want to emphasize that we want as a team to provide quality services in an empathic, caring, uh, uh, fashion so that we can see sustained change over time in not just our individuals that we serve, mm -hmm. but also we challenge our own staff, so come join us. Mm -hmm. So one of the things about uh, mental health is that it is associated with stigma. Mm -hmm. So you, the viewer, need to listen to this because in an average, a young lady suffers for a minimum of nine, ten years yeah. before they seek out mental health. Mm -hmm. It's even worse for you guys out there, up to 11 years before they actually do something and look for mental health mm -hmm. services. So we at Community Behavioral Health ask you to take the challenge, which is our motto, Challenge for Change, to go on our website, communitybehavioralhealth.net, and take the self-screening tool test which allows you in the comfort and privacy of your home to do a self-assessment. You can print it out, email it, or bring it with you mm -hmm. to your psychiatrist and see how they can take it, assess it, and provide the kind of treatment that's evidence-based for you. So here at Community Behavioral Health, we have outpatient mental health services for children, for uh, adolescents, for adults, and for geriatric individuals. Okay. Yeah, and and we have um, you know substance abuse mental health services where we want to promote um, substance understanding and underlying co-occurring mental health mm -hmm. disorders because a lot of people treat just the substance use, but you need to remember you need underlying treatment for mental health disorders. That's very important. Mm -hmm. We also have intensive outpatient services where we avert inpatient hospitalization for an individual in crisis, so mm -hmm. that's extremely important. And my favorite is behavioral home health, which is psychosomatic medicine. So if you have a medical illness, mm -hmm. we support that with your doctor and provide coordinated care for not only your psychiatric illness, but also your um, somatic illness. So that's very, very important. We treat the individual as a whole, yeah. which is very important. Mm -hmm. We also have um, respite. So respite is basically for, you know, when we care for our loved ones, mm -hmm. We need to take care of our own mental health. That's true. So we need to prevent burnout. Mm -hmm. So it's very important for you to take an opportunity for respite care. Mm -hmm. Let your kids come, we'll take care of them, and you take a break. So nice. your mental health is equally important. Mm -hmm. So I think we at CBH, or Community Behavioral Health, we have an eclectic approach. Mm -hmm. We have child psychiatrists, we have adult psychiatrists, we have uh, addiction psychiatrists, we have pediatricians, and a consulting neurologist. So, you know, we provide total care. And I think that's important because it provides you with evaluation, diagnosis, differentials, and a treatment that's evidence-based. We like to do not guesswork, picking out which medicine is going to work for you, mm -hmm. but we do a swab test that will allow us 
to pick the right match mm -hmm. for your uh, loved one so that you can tolerate the medicine better and less side effects. So that's a huge advantage yes. of practicing evidence-based in a scientific method. Mm -hmm. We also track progress. You know, you just don't give a medication and say, or a treatment and say, oh, you're doing well. We have electronic monitoring for a child, let's say, with ADHD, where you can actually measure your treatment outcome as far as attention goes, hyperactivity, or impulsivity. So we can tell you if the medicine's doing what it's supposed to do, and if it's actually making a difference in the child's uh, quality of life. So, you know, we're very privileged here, and I appreciate, you know, being part of this community, and, and thank you very much for your support. Well, thank you, Dr. Johnny. We learned a lot today. This is very interesting. Well, thank you. Yes. I'd like to now introduce Ms. Kim Martha. She's our uh, therapist, and. Uh, Take it from here. So Dr. Johnny explained overall what we do here at the clinic, and I wanted to go in a little more detail about what we offer. So there are several departments that we have. Okay. One is our counseling department, and we happen to have a group of therapists here who are trained in different areas. Uh, we treat children, adults, we can do families, and in addition to that, we do a lot of groups. Yeah. One of the groups we are now currently holding is a teen group for mm -hmm. teenagers who want to meet with other teens and talk about issues and things facing them, build social skills. Mm -hmm. Another group we have is for women, uh, especially dealing with relationships. Mm -hmm. It's complicated out there sometimes, and this helps women find support in ways to develop relationships that are healthy with the presence of a mental health counselor. Um, in addition to that, like Dr. Johnny said, we have our substance abuse mental health, mm -hmm. which runs here in this office, as well as some other counties, and she'll explain that a little bit more. And we also have our Psychiatric Rehabilitative Center, and they take this office and bring it out into the community. We like to say it's an extension of clinical mental health. Mm -hmm. So if a client has a certain insurance, they can get these services and get trained in the community about social skills, um, how to get their medications, mm -hmm. and the support that just can't be given here in an office mm -hmm. setting. One other thing that we do that's community-based is we also can do home visits and we do school-based visits. So for children who might not have the transportation mm -hmm. or if time is an issue, we have an agreement with the schools that we can go into Queen Anne's County School Districts and meet with those children on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. So these are two of our counselors. This is Cassie and Abby, and we're all licensed with the state of Maryland, and we are what's called community counselors. So we can specialize in a variety of areas. As I said before, we can do individual, we can do children, adults, families, uh, couples. So we reach out to the community in a wide variety um, of specializations. We also have a master's level intern who's working here with us. He's not here today, but his name is Eric, okay. and he also likes to reach out to the community in a wide variety. My name is Tina Carter. I'm the clinical director of substance abuse and mental health services, and I provide uh, substance abuse and mental health services for various counties. First, in Kent County, we were located at the AF Woods Center. Mm -hmm. uh, the second thing, we provide it here in the, the Centerville location. Mm -hmm. Also, we provide it in Dorchester location, and also we provide it in Wacomico, and plus we're expanding to Somerset County. We provide um, evidence-based treatment with, along with uh, medication assistance programming mm -hmm. to help people rehabilitate in, 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 in the society and uh, reduce the recidivism rate. We uh, Community Baber Health has a high a uh, success rate, we complete um, 598 urine screens and only 71 were positive. So we have a 91% comp uh, compliance rate. Wonderful. So for a success rate to help them um, get well. Yeah. So we provide naloxone training for the patients. We provide um, um, medication mm -hmm. assistance, uh, education to the patients, mm -hmm. and we also sit down and talk to them and build a trusting relationship with them because if they don't trust us, they won't be mm -hmm. able to uh, open up and become honest and get well. I'm Jennifer Hardin. I'm an RN and a licensed graduate social worker, um, and I'm the psychiatric rehabilitation program specialist um, and supervisor. And then we have um, our PRP workers, which Miss Cynthia is one of my PRP workers. Um, and, and basically, 
Um, a lot of our work is done in the community. Um, other than just being their supervisor, um, I also um, can do therapy and I'm also the nurse. Mm -hmm. um, so I um, do a lot of the injections and mm -hmm. other nursing duties around here. Hi, I'm Cynthia Bailey. I'm a PRP caseworker. Mm -hmm. And my duty is that I go out into the community and I service, um, I service the community. I help them with um, finding housing, work on their goals, um, community resources, and anything that they need done, I get out there and try to do it. I'm a nurse practitioner here at Community Behavioral Health, mm -hmm. um, and I see uh, adult uh, mm -hmm. clients from ages 16 and up, mm -hmm. uh, diagnose, uh, treat, prescribe, uh, case manage, follow their care. Um, and connect them with all the other supportive services that we have here. Mm -hmm. um, and I value my time with them and trying to really listen and hear mm -hmm. what they need. Yes. So that's my goal. That's so important, isn't is it? Is to have a really good ear. Yes. Yeah. Contact Community Behavior Health if you want information on any of the topics they've mentioned today. Have a wonderful day.